Zimmerman, missile boats, and stun needles. These are the ingredients used to make a public lobby hell to play, but FromSoft Games also added an extra ingredient to the concoction, coral ah. weapons. Thus, AC6 PvP was born. Using their broken stats, they'll drive off people trying to have fun everywhere. Man, I really hope they don't release another patch right as I post this video again. Welcome to Staggered Core 6, where we get stunned constantly and the screen is filled with raging particle effects. I've been wanting to get a little bit more competitive with AC6, but it's just absolutely broken. There's latency issues and horrible balance. Both tournaments and public lobbies are absolutely fucked. I just watched a YouTuber named Striker announce a $100 tournament where he banned all the Tetra and tank threads, all of the S tier weapons, and limited laser weapons so that you can only have one, I think? And he's not the only one with a huge ban list when it comes to tournaments. In public lobbies, it might be even worse because of a phenomenon I like to call devolution. Whenever someone loses, they start pulling out the absolute bonker busted bullshit. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? And when that person starts pulling it out and doing good, the whole lobby next round is going to devolve into unintelligent single celled organisms in order to try to match the power levels. I keep seeing this happening in real time, and it's really boring when it happens because I know it's gonna end up in a unholy trinity of cancer. What's the unholy trinity? Shotgun, rocket launcher, enemy chaser. And yeah, coral missiles in the middle. It's like the Illuminati triangle, okay? Don't get me started on coral weapons because Jesus H Christ, those coral missiles do not stop chasing. Now, I'm not saying that these are the only weapons that work, I know there's a ton of great builds out there using stun guns or prunos or even the red sent to DMRs or whatever, but the unholy trinity is what's the easiest to abuse, and it significantly brings down the game quality. No one likes to play against them, and they rather play a build that's more true to them. But those builds involving any sort of like machine gun or any sort of assault rifles or linear rifles are much less effective than going full CQC or full missiles or full on the stunning weapons with the stun guns and the stun needles, right? Latency is also another thing that's working against us. Apparently, weapon attacks are attacker side hit registration and missiles are defender side hit registration. This means there is a big disconnect between you dodging shots and actually getting hit. Not to mention, there are invisible effects. So there's no invisibility spell for Armor Core, but there are, there are invisible particle effects. Assault Armor and Nebula Charge shots are often invisible to the naked eye. Some real sneak 100 shit. So no matter how good you are, you're still going to be getting hit with things that aren't possibly hitting on your screen. The game basically lies to you, and for a game that requires so much attention and dodging, this is extremely frustrating. A lot of the times I feel like I'm dodging people's shots, and no, to them, I'm getting hit on their screen. As for balance, it's bad. It's oh oh yeah, it's so bad. How it feels to chew five gum? Stimulate your senses. So bad that the tournaments are basically banning everything except for biped legs. The the, the ban lists are literal the Google documents long, one to three pages long, and I have to admit that I haven't played a FromSoft games PvP that much. And apparently bad balancing is nothing new. So, you know, fair enough. But uh, the heavier ACs tend to dominate the PvP scene right now. They shut lightways down just by superior stats. And because their load capacity is better, their firepower is also better. Here is evil John Rubicon. He's had enough of this shit and he equipped 
two shotguns, two stun needles, the tetrapod legs, and the Blizzard thruster. This build is absolutely fucking ridiculous because you could just hard lock on someone, press assault boost, press the shotgun button, assault kick them, and kill them with the needles. It's extremely hard to counter because disengaging in this game is basically impossible and it's brainless for me to click a couple of buttons and secure kills. I, I feel dirty running this build for the sake of the video. I, I, I feel like I need a shower afterwards. It's rough knowing as well that we can't really ban the worst of the worst from the public lobbies. There's not even the chat system that we can say no missile built in. The lobby function is very bare bones and heck, we don't even have a 2v2 mode. I think what we need is a general rebalancing of weapon ranges, impact and, you know, burst or even stability. We, we kind of just genuinely need more stability. There's a lot of body parts that have really bad stats and you can't use them. And for the heads, man, there's only like three heads that you can use. There's a lot to cover and I'm not going to go into all of the things that I want to touch on and rebalance, but I'll just use an analogy to explain. Variety is the spice of life and usually balancing a game generally means giving a lot of different options the ability to be competitive. They don't have to be the best, but there should be a variety of things that work pretty well. In a game like Armor Core 6, where customization and personal touches are the core of the game. Get it? Because it's armor core is the core of the game. Okay. But th there can't just be a few ways to play. I get that it's not a competitive game, but there has to be more breathing room for us. We can't be playing Stagger Core 6 where the burst means fucking everything. And I think the best way to do this is just by giving mid-range weapons a chance Give them more range, give them more, a little bit more damage, give them a little bit more in, sustained impact so they can properly space against melees and to counter missile builds. The legs also generally need a rebalancing or else it will be stuck forever in a close quarter combat slash missile meta. But again, I'm not going to cover everything. I think the balance is and needs to be worked on. But anyways... That's all I have for today. Please, have some grass, get some water, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.